Cheryl, Chicago's first corruption trial was in 69. 1869, and that was just the beginning of crooked Illinois. Since then, thousands of government and business officials have been convicted of public profiteering. Corruption numbers compiled by the I-Team for just the past two decades are astounding. A couple politicians getting together in Chicago is a crime scene lately. That punchline might be funny if the crimes weren't so deeply rooted here. There's a quote, like, it's the Chicago way. It shouldn't be the Chicago way, because everybody needs to be on a fair playing field. I don't think it's fair when somebody tries to bribe their way into something. Just the last two decades of misconduct have locked in crooked Illinois as number one on the country's corruption map. According to new federal figures obtained tonight by the I-Team, there have been 891 convictions for public corruption in Illinois since the year 2000, tops in the nation. To some degree, it's in the DNA. Our legal analyst, Gil Sofer, is a former federal prosecutor here. The U.S. Attorney's Office here has been particularly creative and particularly aggressive in prosecuting public corruption cases and very successful in doing it. The near 900 convictions this century don't even include this man, ex-state Senator Martin Sandoval, pleading guilty last week to pocketing a quarter million dollars in bribes to protect the red light traffic camera industry. I'm ashamed and I'm sorry. Last fall, federal agents carried away records and electronics from Sandoval's Chicago home and his offices in Springfield. And now Sandoval is cooperating with the feds. The goal is always to move up. And the only way to move up in a criminal conspiracy is to get the cooperation of the people who are lower. We are all aware of the dark cloud that hangs over the state of Illinois and particularly this capital with the massive ongoing federal investigation into political corruption. The ongoing federal investigation that ensnared Sandoval is older than has been reported. The I-Team learning that a federal grand jury looking into statewide corruption actually began hearing evidence in 2014. Those under indictment or under investigation are considered just the beginning of a still expanding federal case. It's a very stubborn problem we seem to have here in Illinois. Blagojevich. From Illinois governors to powerful members of Congress, judges, aldermen, and outfit bosses, IRS criminal investigators have been the backbone of many public corruption cases. We look to see how much they report every year, and then we compare that with what their lifestyle is like. Um, are they spending money on boats and cars and expensive houses and things, you know, vacations, things like that. It's no longer enough to sit idle while under the table deals extortion or bribery persist. Legislation now in the General Assembly would crack down on lobbyist legislators and tighten financial disclosures. You can legislate good behavior to a point, and at some point the voters have to make clear and, and clearly, strongly, their desire to see an ethical government. Why don't people get the message that these things are going to be uncovered at some point? Um, I think in our cases, um, since we are financial investigators, money is the root of the evil. Where do you see this ending? Not anytime soon. Do How you, high up the food chain? You, don't, you really don't know. And like I said, we've seen some large companies, we've seen some prominent individuals. Once it gets into gaming in Illinois, especially with what's coming forward with some of the casinos and whatnot, that could open a Pandora's box. People should be nervous, clearly. Precisely who should be nervous would make up a long list, according to investigators and defense attorneys interviewed by the I-Team, as insiders are revealed to have been wearing wires and additional officials plead guilty. Their former associates no doubt try to reconstruct the dinners, cocktail parties, and phone calls they may have shared, and more importantly, what was said. Seems to never end. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.